front like yeah yeah I got the brothers on the side like yeah yeah Even the haters at the back are like yeah yeah Because we do it like that we be yeah yeah Hello YouTube and welcome to your basic HTML tutorial 6. In this tutorial we will be talking about different ways to position objects that you would like to position. So let's get started. Now what I usually use is I would usually use left align, right align, or center. But of course you can use absolute positioning and I'll show you guys an example. So we can say go ahead and say image. You guys don't have to do this. Or you can pick an image of your own. Jump start dot PNG. And by the way, guys, this works with any anything basically. I'm just using an image just for this example. So once we have that, we can go ahead and say style equals. And style is just basically a shorter term for instead of having it either on a different whole entire different um project or just instead of having it at the top so style we can say um with unless you want it natural of course 200 pixels height oops thought I saw something 200 pixels as well then we can say position absolute then what this basically allows us to do is now we're allowed to say top and we can say 200 pixels or we can say left we can say 30 pixels so if we go ahead and save that and head on to chrome refresh and it's way down here when it normal it would normally be way up here at the very top of the page but it's way down here so how about if we don't want to do that well there is a problem with that of, with this type of positioning and that is different screen sizes and resolutions so say you have a 1000 by 1000 pixel screen what about if somebody else comes and tries to come on your web page or website and has a 1500 by 1500 pixel screen then it's going to be all disordered it's not going to be you know it's just not going to be um really accurate to the point so there is a s small fix that can make it a little bit better and that will just be left align float left instead of putting a left tag oops, then we can go ahead and refresh that and it's basically in the same place but a whole lot more accurate now what if we don't want to use that and we just want to use how about margin or whatever well with margin what I would usually do I usually say this is what I usually do I don't use margin for much, I may use it for padding purposes or others. And I'll go ahead and show you guys padding this episode. Um, but basically, if you set this to auto, margin, then it's basically going to center whatever you have, whatever your object is, in the center. Basically, but you don't even need margin auto for image you can just say center so let's go ahead and do that center go ahead and save that head on over to chrome refresh and it's centered now now I'm going to show you guys basically padding and margin so padding is basically the amount of space that something has in another amount of space so here's an example I can say div style equals width 400 pixels height 400 pixels we can say 500 actually then we can say text align 
center. You can also say margin, auto, which again centers the object. And we can say background color. You can say 1E, 1E, 1E. All right. Now, let's go ahead and add this here. So, let's head over there and see what we have so far. This is basically what we have so far. Now, what if we want space on the top instead of it being exactly attached to the top? That's quite easy. Let's head on back to our ID. And we all we need to say is padding, top, 20 pixels or any amount of pixels you want you can go ahead and refresh look at that you can go down as much as you want how about we go ahead and center that which would be 200 or 150 something around that refresh look at that amazing now with padding you may notice that you can't use borders see watch if I add a border here border three pixels solid green if we add a border it's gonna go around padding so basically it's not gonna be the d direct amount it's border the border is basically gonna go around padding now how do we fix this so that it's still around the image and in the center of the screen or wherever you decided to put it well that's quite easy go ahead back here and instead of using padding what we're going to do use is margin and that'll fix the problem for us because border does not overlay margin refresh and look at that well that's basically basically it for this tutorial thanks guys for watching um rate comment subscribe and i'll get back to you thanks bye